Hey everybody, Slightly Unblended. Welcome back to my channel today. I have a scratchy voice. My allergies are bothering me. First, I take my allergy medicine. So, I'm so sorry for my voice. But I wanted to talk about palettes that I really, really enjoyed. And the shit storm that is 2020. So, I'm not going to really go in any particular order. I have about, I don't even know how many, but I have some. <laughs> um, I'm just going to jump into it. First up, I'm going to start with the, I have an eyelash stuck to it, the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Cotton Candy Palette. I have a tutorial with this look on my channel. I really, really liked it. I was like, colors for eight eyeshadows? Like, what? And then it came in. And then I was like, oh, okay. Those pan sizes are a decent size. Like, yeah. So it's definitely, to me, worth the $18 that I for it there are really pretty pinks and like lavender periwinkle kind of purples and they're really gorgeous and there's a shimmer shade in here which I, let me tell you what the name of it is it is sugar or fluff I can't I want to say it's sugar but it is absolutely amazing it's this one right here I suck with swatching but let's just dig into it and see if I can do anything with my camera because um, it's got autofocus, so it doesn't necessarily like to do what I want it to do. It wants to do what it wants to do because it's zoomed in. But it's a very nice light purple, very iridescent, beautiful, gorgeous shimmer shade. And it is so buttery. It's absolutely amazing. But this palette blends well, and that was one that I was super glad that I got my hands on this year. There's a good bit of ColourPop in this one. <laughs> I, um, I really, really enjoy ColourPop. They have, I don't know, I get excited when they have releases often, like, as often as they do. But I don't buy everything that comes out. Because while I'm excited, I'm not real, real into neutrals. I love colors. So, when they do neutral things, I'm not really into that. But there was one palette that was neutral that I got this year from them that I really enjoy and it is the Little Ray of Sunshine palette. I don't know if it came out this year or came out last year but I got it this year and it is an all matte palette and I was so excited for Colourpop to come out with an all matte palette like thank you. I've been waiting for that now can we please get like an all matte non-pan little cutie like this with like different colors <laughs> but I love I love Colourpop. But yes, this is a very, kind of, it's neutral, but it has like yellows where you can have like that little bit of not so neutral, but it, it works, but it's like neutral. I don't know, it's kind of like my neutral, if that makes sense. Because I, I get so, I get so out of my comfort zone when using neutral, so that palette is one that I'm more comfortable with. Next up is the Inner Trance palette. I have, I want to say two videos on my channel where I've used this palette. I love it. I was so scared to use it because it's very pastel and pastels are also out of my comfort zone. But this just is so pretty. I don't know what it is about it. It just, when I want to do something colorful but like kind of different for me, I reach for this a lot, a lot. I have this one and the R and Out palette. I reach for this one a lot more than the R and Out palette. Next up is the Elf and Jay Kissa to the Rescue palette. I was like on a whole wanting to do nothing but looks with this palette kick for a hot minute. It is just absolutely amazing. I love the colors. It blends well. I just keep looking at it because I'm just like, yes. I love, 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 especially like this section over here purple blue but i also love the warm tones in the palette they are just gorgeous i want to say i have two or three videos up on my channel where i have used this palette i just could not keep my brushes out of this palette for a hot minute definitely one of my favorite ones from like february of this year i believe when these came out. It feels like an eternity ago when they released these, but the Juvia's Place, the Berries Mini Palette. Ah, I love it. This, in particular, this 
gorgeous shade right here. Just about any sunset blend I do, I use that shade. It is that good. And the second I hit paint on that shade that I just showed you, this beautiful baby right here, the second that I hit paint on it, whether I've hit paint in any of them, any of the other shades in this palette, I will buy another one of these just for that shade because I love it that much. And it's only like $13. I'm not quite sure. I have to double check. But you get six shades, and I've had it, like I said, since February, and I use that one gorgeous shade, like, every other day, every other look, and I've yet to hit paint on it. So, I feel like it's a pretty good deal. Another e.l.f. Cosmetics purchase. I did end up with, like, three of these, but the Bite Size Eyeshadow in Hot Jalapeno, which I'm wearing on my eyes right now currently, with a Cleona shade, I want to say that it is, let me double check on the Cleona shade. So I have this and the Cleona shade in Anil. I love it. But this palette right here, you get two mattes and two shimmers. And I've used the shimmers. The shimmers are nice. But these blend so well. And I want to say they're like $3. Holy pigment. I mean, they are like the pigmentation is there. You get it. It is amazing and affordable. Affordable. That's why we stay in e.l.f. They're affordable, and they have some high-quality, amazing products that I just love so much. Just like their liquid glitter eyeshadows. Now, I could do something with, um, compare... I could do something where I'm comparing, like, liquid glitter eyeshadows that I've tried, if you'd like, because I have, like, a couple Stila, Ofra, and then a pretty decent collection of the e.l.f. ones. <laughs> I don't know if I would say it would be obvious that this would be in here, but I kind of feel like it would be... <laughs> Because I love Christy, so I had to pick the Christy palette. So, I, like I was saying before my memory card ran out, the Raw Beauty Christy and ColourPop at Foresight palette, I love it. I really do. The colors are just so nice and like, they're so, just colors that I gravitate towards, I feel. I've done three, I've done like three or four looks with this palette. And I just, I love it. I can't get over how pretty it is. Now, and I can so appreciate that there's only like two shimmers in the whole thing. But if I had to pick a favorite shimmer, it would definitely be Evergreen. It is so pretty. I love it so much. West Coast is good. I mean, I, I have not found a problem that I've had with this palette. I love it so, so much. But the Evergreen shade in this, I love. Like, it is just like a really gorgeous shimmer shade. And Fiddlehead is such a beautiful, kind of different kind of green. It's just, I cannot get over it. And Amanita is such a pretty, 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 pretty shade. I love this palette. And I'm still so excited for Christy for this whole collection. Even though I've not had any luck on getting the rest of it at the relaunch or like on launch day. I'm hoping that one day I'll be able to get it. Because if they relaunch, because if they relaunch again, I'm going to try so hard to get the rest of the collection because it's such a beautiful collection and while we're talking about raw beauty christy and the amazing collabs that she's had this year the pure and raw beauty christy oh my gosh their collaboration it was a whole experience and you know when i say that i don't it was it was like i it, there's no shade at christy no shade at pure it was my husband and i like Sitting at the front, like, sitting watching One Piece, binging One Piece all day, trying to get this palette. That and, like, stand-up comedy episodes or whatever they have on Netflix. Like, the stand-up comedy. Oh, my gosh. We watched so many stand-up comedies and, like, so much One Piece in one day trying to get this collection. We lucked out, and I was able to get the palette and the lashes. And I was so, so excited. Like, I just, like, I still gravitate towards using this palette it is one of my favorites, especially the colorful side. I love it. I love that there's only one shimmer per side, so like two shimmers. And I'm not very big on neutral looks, but I have hit this side of the palette with the neutrals more times than I would have ever expected in my whole life. There's just something about it. The whole thing is just magical. And again, for every collab that Christy has had this year, I am so so happy for her. She is one of my favorite people 
on the platform and just uh, this palette and the at foresight are definitely two of my favorite favorite favorites that have ha that has happened to 2020 because you know 2020 has been a whole dumpster fire and we needed some excitement and pure color pop working with christy was exactly the excitement that kind of like made this year a little bit more bearable last but certainly not least and i i kind of like was last minute with this and haven't had a chance to sit and sort what all palettes that i accumulated but i mean i should not have been accumulating but i've just like been focusing on makeup so it's like i want to try this i want to try that but last but certainly not least we have the be perfect cosmetics and stacy marie carnival 3 love tahiti now i am working on some swatches and pictures for my instagram um this is just a big palette and i love it absolutely love it it's just such a gorgeous rainbow palette it has so many colors that you can create depth in your looks you have like the greens that go together for the depth you have dark blue you have a black you have a dark purple you have a nice and this is i'm not even in frame with it <laughs> but you have like this forced green shade you have this blue shade the dark blue shade you have a nice black shade and it's such a good matte black and blackberry this purple shade oh my gosh i've not had any issues with it getting patchy or anything it's absolutely amazing i did end up finding out that with the norvina volume one palette when i was on a kick with that i did find it to come off patchy at some point which pissed me off because that was 60 dollars for a palette there's so ooh, i gotta watch it because i'm gonna be cussing too much about it but i was really mad and i found with working with norvina volume two that the blues in it upset me upset me but i'm not gonna get on a, a rant about that because i loved them when i first got them but it seemed like the more that i used them the more issues i found with them and i was like did i just spend like 180 dollars on trash did did i but i did and that was last year so that's not going to be what I want this video to be about. That was 2019. We're going to make wiser decisions in 2021. But this chili pepper shade, oh my gosh, it is so good too. I love it. And I'm just like looking at it. I have not, I'm going to be kind of out of frame here for a second, but I have not really got into any of the more neutral shades in this palette, but I feel like you could even do neutral looks with it and you can do monochromatic looks you can do colorful sunset blends you can do like mermaid vibes i mean anything that you put your mind to doing with that palette you can do it and you'll rock it so don't be don't be afraid of all the colors if you've been thinking about getting it but you're like i don't know about colors play with colors that is the fun of makeup go wild with your colors have just like full-blown avant-garde looks going on I live for that. It's fun to play with. I don't do it as often as I used to. I'm going to try to get back into that soon. But if a palette speaks to you, like that one speaks to me, or like any of the other ones that I've talked about speak to me, dive right in and have fun with it because that is like the beauty of makeup. You can do whatever and it's so much fun. There's no rules, whatever you're comfortable with doing. Go out of your comfort zone too, because that's I'm I'm bad about getting in the comfort zone and staying there. So I've gotten to where I want to do more neutral looks because they're out of my comfort zone or more like graphic liner with like shimmers, which these Cleona eyeshadows have really made me want to do that. And I have done it some. And it's so much fun just to like break out of the comfort zone for a little bit. It's just makeup, it washes off. Have fun with it. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite palette of the year was or your favorite palette of the year is or what your favorite palette in general is because I would love to know. And I want to apologize again for my scratchy voice. I've been forgetting to take my allergy medicine and the weather like today was 70 something degrees and it's like Christmas Eve Eve. So 
I, I was expecting it to be cold. But my allergies are a whole mess and I apologize for my voice. But I hope that you have a wonderful holiday season, a wonderful new year, and here's to a better year in 2021. And I hope that I'll see you in the next one. If you'd like to check out anything else that I do, like what I do before I upload, all that, keep up with me. I'll have all my social medias down below. And if you enjoyed this video, I know it was kind of random and I know it's like, what are you doing? You usually do tutorials. I'm, I wanted to just like do something kind of fun, kind of chatty as an end of the year. We all just need a breather and to like have something to talk about. And I just want to have a conversation about some makeup. And if you'd like to join in, I will get back with you when you call me. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. And I really hope that I'll see you in the next one. And I want to thank you so much for watching me. And if you've watched me before and you've been watching me all through the year, I appreciate you so much. It means so much to me. It really, really does. I'm so thankful. So without dragging this out too long because I'm very bad about doing that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye!